Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Tristan Barracks here, the digital storyteller, and I'm super excited to be with you once again for another episode of Cinecut, where we will be talking about the Zcam S6. Well, we'll just be opening up the box, and then I'm going to jump out and, and get some tester footage, and we'll talk about that. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Woo! All right, so um, it happened, yeah. I, I was able to uh, acquire a Zcam uh, E2S6, which the S stands for Super 35. Um, it's basically the, the equivalent to, um, I guess you would say, like a FS5 or a C100, that sort of uh, crop factor. So it's not full frame, which is, I mean, it is what it is, but it still has all of the necessary ingredients for me to get very excited about so let's uh, unbox it and see what's inside all right so let me just take this it's always so hard to open up okay i'll pull this off this way perfect Whoop. all right let's see what's inside the box here is your box it's taking a long time i love that i love that we're gonna put this, put this over here there we go we got our foam like usual Great, love the foam. It's quite nice. We got our user guide here, a quick starter guide. Yes, uh, so you get a camera, you get some cables, and go ahead and film. That's basically what it says here. I'll move it over there. All right, so this is the, the Wi Fi um, antenna. So if you want to send out video feed and control your camera or with the app, with the Zcam app on your smartphone, you can use this. Uh, this is the power cable. So we got the uh, uh, the DTAP power cable, which is really, really useful. And then I guess this is an extender, um, AC extender as well for DTAP. So that's cool. Let me pull this bad boy out here. Ooh, this feels very, very good. Oh, okay. This is definitely different, much different than the... Um, than the original E2 that I had. Actually, let me pull out the E2. So this is uh, my E2 here, and then this is the S6. As you can see, it definitely is larger, um, the, the S6 is, and it obviously has the adapter that I, that I really, really like. I'll show it to you guys here as well. All right, this, this is the, the E2, and this is the S6. And I am really excited about trying it out. I, I mean, I've seen a lot of great footage on it. Um, I've, I've heard amazing things about it. Uh, one of the things I'm looking at trying to pick up as well is if I, if you look right here, this is actually where you can put the electronic uh, NDs, which I'm used to. If you're a Sony shooter, especially for the with the FS5 or FS7, those are where I first encountered um, electronic ND filters um which is amazing if you've ever tried it you'll never go back to anything else you you won't want to use a tiffin filter or anything on on the front element of your camera you'd really want to put it right in front of the sensor so anyways it's about sunset right now so i'm going to jump in my car and see if i can get a few cool tester shots with this bad boy and then we can take a look at it and talk a little bit about my initial thoughts all right hang tight hey do you find it hard to find dope music for your YouTube videos or for your client projects, I can relate. One of the best platforms that I use right now is called Epidemic Sound. They have a bunch of different music and sound effects that you can actually access for a very low monthly fee. It's a membership based service that I've used now for the last two years and it's super dope. So if you're looking for anything from top 40s music to pop, funk, jazz, R&B, reggae, hip hop, classical rock, and anything in between, definitely check out Epidemic Sound's 30 day free trial. Just use the link in the description below.
So what do you guys think? What do you guys think about what you've seen so far? Um, first time that I was recording or trying to record with the, the S6, I wasn't able to because I forgot my monitor uh, or not my monitor, but the HDMI cable for my monitor. And then the batteries were dying and stuff. So I actually came, went out the next day and filmed all of those sort of uh, shots of the windmills. But um, this is my friend Thurka. I was shooting um, with the S6 uh, on Friday and I just took her out for golden hour again in the same area that I usually film at um, just outside of my town of Shelburne. And uh, as you can see, the image quality is amazing. This is uh, this is 6K at uh, 60p, and um, the quality is great. The sharpness is amazing. The color is great. It just has this cinematic sort of aesthetic to it that I'm really, really happy with. And you know, the biggest thing about using any camera is, you know, is it practical? Does it does it how does it work when you're hand holding it or when you have it on tripod or how does it how do the roll offs look for the shadows and the highlights and with some of these clips i actually these are just clips that came right out of the camera um these clips are phenomenal um this is actually their rec 709 profile picture profile so as you can see it's a little bit more robust but the thing that you notice the most is the blacks are like soft they have this sort of cinematic quality to it the color um rea reacts to how the blacks roll off um everything just looks really really cinematic it, like without even really trying this is this is rec 709 normally the rec 709 looks like doo-doo in a cup okay let's be honest but this rec 709 at 6k uh, 60p is phenomenal it's it's incredible look at the sky i didn't i, I just exposed you know, the way I wanted to, I think this is probably at F4. So I'm incredibly excited about the results and, and what I can expect out of the rest of the features in this camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this quick little, uh, overview of the S6 and my quick thoughts of using it for the last couple of days. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, just put it down below. And until the next time, stay creative and stay positive. Peace.